Okay, well, I've covered this before, but the project, this project anyway, is about building a homebrew tilt over tower. Okay, because I want to stick a quad on the top. Now, initially, I was going to fit these guys six meters from, from the base of the bottom of the tower. So there'll be four guy points because a tilt over tower needs four, not three, right? If you're doing it on your own anyway. Um, so I'm going to use something called a falling derrick. Simply lower the mast, all right? The whole thing is going to be two scaffold poles in height. So it's 12 meters or 40 foot. Now I've done that before, built a 60 foot actually, but it was a bit precarious. Uh, right, this is going to be for a cubicle quad. It's called a boomless two element cubicle quad. It's a multi band thing, all right? It's kind of new, right? And I'm having a good play with it. But in parallel with the thinking, I also need, well, I want a 40 meter four square. Now, DX Engineering were kind enough to send me one of theirs. And although I've expanded the antenna field, I was having trouble working out where the hell to put this thing because the foot. Print is quite big and you've got a radial field and I've already got a ton of other stuff in a field and the mast I need to detune it so it doesn't interfere with 40 meters it could very easily look like a reflector totally cock up the pattern now I was going to use fiberglass but I've, I've dumped that idea I'm using again I'm going to use aluminium right, or aluminum but a fiberglass insert half out the mast as an insulator so hopefully it's miles away from 40 meters and I'll I'll double up the guys. So there'll be guys halfway, guys at the top. So easy so far. We've got four verticals to make the uh, 40 meter four square. I'll just tell you about that in a minute. And we've got a directional antenna, like a Yagi, but it's actually a quad at the top. Now, why a four square? So the, be the gain's pretty good. It's about 5 dB better than a straight vertical. It's like doubling in and doubling your power again. But the front to back, you'll the receive is remarkable. So if you can imagine not hearing anything behind you, see, so you've got the effect of, of, of making you receive even better. The maximum gain is off the points. So I've built this at 315 degrees northwest for my American friends. And that will give me fairly good coverage to VK and ZL, Rowley and company, you know, and Hayden. Uh, so I'm into a 7.45 meter radius now, not six meters for the guys, because the instruction manual says the distance between the sides of the four square needs to be exactly a quarter of a wavelength. My, my, tar my target frequency is 7.175, a quarter of that wavelength is 10.45 meters. And after some mucking around calculations with Pythagoras, we end up with sides at 10.45 and a radius from the center out to one of the points is 7.393839. So uh, just a case of digging the holes now. The first hole, the centre one was easy. It's just a case of hammering the thing in, making absolutely sure it's accurate. You know, uh, it, it is definitely vertical. Now I'll cut them all, I'll, get, I'll use a laser level, cut them all um, absolutely accurately, drill holes, put lifting eyes and everything else. So the last few days, this is what I've been doing. Now, I genuinely needed to be very accurate because the guy rope I'm using is from Marlow. It's a six millimeter Dyneema, my favorite rope company. And it's got a stretch of only 3% before breaking. Although it does break at some ridiculous, you know, it's tons, not kilos. In other words, I need perfect tension as the pole goes from horizontal to vertical. I've done this before, very comfortable with how the whole thing works. So that's what I've been doing next week. I did double up on the concrete the next day. Um, as I said, I'll just, I've got my laser leveller ready. I've got to get out there, mark that off. All right. So on the next video, I'll be drilling holes, putting rope out, laying out masts, and hopefully doing a test a deployment. And if you subscribe, you'll not miss it. Enjoy your radio. Have fun. All the best now.